Hey, Andy. Let's talk quickly about amended tax returns. So here we are a handful of days after April 18th, which for uh, the 2021 tax year, April 18th, 2022 was the tax return filing deadline. So you got your tax return done, filed on time, you know, on or before uh, April 18th. And guess what? You just found out now that, oops, something was wrong in your original return. Uh, and, you, you know, maybe you just found out now a handful of days after April 18th. What do you do? Well, don't sweat it. You can file an amended tax return. So there's a lot of reasons an amended return could uh, could be warranted. But for example, let's assume you already, you know, a pretty common one is if you have a uh, investment of some sort in some kind of partnership or something that generates what's called a K-1. A uh, K-1 will report to you, the investment or partnership owner, uh, your share of the income and losses from that investment for the year. Now, K-1s are notorious for coming out um, quite late in the tax season, sometimes even after uh, April 15th, you know, the, the typical filing deadline. So let's assume you filed your return, got it done, and boom, here we are, April 25th, whatever today is, uh, and you get this K-1. Oops, I, I now have additional income, according to this K-1, that I did not report in my original return. You have to amend that, otherwise the IRS will uh, eventually find it, and, and they will send you a letter saying, hey, you owe us more money and potentially, uh, a, a, you know, delayed interest or penalty um, on, on that uh, income you didn't report. So it's a fairly straightforward process, at least at the federal level. States, um, they all have their own, uh, at least states that do have income tax, do have their own amended return process similar to, to what I'm going to discuss now. Today, specifically just about the federal return, which is Form 1040-X, where X stands for amendment. Uh, you can see a little, uh, little here we are, a little picture of it right here. And there's a link in the video to uh, the instructions to the IRS Form 1040-X. So definitely give that a read. That'll help uh, substantially and talking through what you need to do and um, you know, the process for filing an amended return. But in a nutshell, it's, it's fairly easy. The 1040X, uh, for the most part, has three columns. It'll say what your original return reported for all the major items of uh, income and deductions and credits and, and, and such. There'll be a middle column that says, what are the changes you're making from your original return? And then the rightmost column will be, what's, what's the adjusted? You know, what's the amended uh, figures for all these columns? That's functionally it. Now there's more to the form. You'll have to obviously put your name on it, your socials, um, dependents. There's also a section on there where you, you actually write in or, or type in uh, the reason for doing the amendment. So you'd simply say, in the example I gave, you know, I got a late K-1 after I filed my return, you would just write, received a K-1, you know, after April 18th and uh, revising, amending the return to, to reflect that income in there. So that's basically it. Um, you would send that in. Now there's two ways to do it. You can paper mail your uh, amended return. I do not recommend ever paper filing anything if you can avoid it. If it is able to be e-filed, which uh, amended returns now are, now there may be some exceptions to your particular return or circumstances where you have to physically mail it, but uh, for most people, for most amended returns, you should be able to e-file it, which means if you use a tax return preparer, he or she is going to have software when uh, he or she fills out the amended return for you, can simply just electronically transmit it to the IRS. That's always the safest and easiest and cleanest. Or if you did your return yourself using uh, you know, third-party software, one of the commercially available ones, I won't name names, but you all, you all know what I'm probably thinking of. Um, if you did your original return through that, you can easily do an amended return also through that software. They'll walk you through the process. It'll start with all the original 1040 items you had. You just you know, kind of type in the adjustments basically, and it'll generate for you this 1040X uh, it'll ask you to type in that you know descriptive comment of why you're uh, amending your return, and then file it that way. And uh, if you owe money, then you'll you'll simply you know just like your original uh, tax return, if you owe money, you'll you'll be able to pay it with that either through check or you can set up a, a bank ACH transfer. Um, if you are do a refund from the amendment, then you, same process with getting a refund in your normal return. You just kind of sit and wait. You can have the you know the IRS, or technically the Department of Treasury, uh, send you a paper check if you want or you can set up direct deposit into your bank account. It's functionally no different than your original return. So what's the deadline to do an amendment? Um, if, you're, if you're due a refund as a result of amendment, the deadline is three years from the original filing date of your original return, or two years from when you paid the tax for that return, whichever is later. So quick example, um, if you're amending your 2019 tax return to get a refund, you have three years from April 15th 2020, because that's when your 2019 return will be due to be filed. So April 15, 2020. So three years from that is April 15, 2021, 22, 23. So you have until April 15, 2023 
to file an amendment for a 2019 return to get um, to get a refund or the date you actually pay tax for your 2019 return two years after that again whichever date is later three years from when it was filed or uh, two years from uh, from when you paid the the tax for that uh, there's some exceptions but leave it there for now you can again find out more in the instructions to the 1040 uh, X form if you owe money I don't believe there's any limit the IRS will never uh, uh, prevent you from from sending them money that they're owed so now you if you are late and you owe uh, you know more than a certain amount there there will be some sort of underpayment interest penalty um, That's a whole separate topic, but assume you can file an amendment to owe more tax whenever there's no statute of limitations But there probably will be some sort of uh, you know tardy or, or underpayment penalty on it um, Should you always file an amendment so it depends so um, why wouldn't you so let's assume you catch something after the fact and you're owed making up a number $27 of refund as a result of oops you know I transposed a number in my original return or forgot to include some small deduction or whatever it may be and the net impact is going to be it's $27 refund you're going to get should you file an amendment it depends uh, what's it going to cost you to do the amendment so if you do it on your own and you can do it for less than $27 whether it's through commercial prep software or you're filling it up by hand or whatever it may be uh, if it costs you less than $27 then sure why not you know you're net better off but if it's um, you know a return that you're doing or an amendment you're doing through a return preparer, and he or she's going to charge you 100 bucks or something, then no, because you're going to spend 100 just to get 27 back. It's not worth it. Just let that 27 be lost, unfortunately, um, and you just let it go. Now, if you did use someone to do your taxes, and the uh, the reason for the amendment was his or her fault, the preparer's fault, that person should be doing the amendment for you for no charge. In which case, yes, push them to get your 27 dollars back. But if it was something that uh, you know information you you failed to provide to them even if they didn't ask you for it and probably should have but nonetheless you didn't give that to them so they they didn't know to include it in your original return you, you can't really knock them for that and if they're going to charge you to do an amendment so be it if they're nice maybe they'll cut the fee in half or something but ultimately that was your responsibility to get them that info so uh don't be surprised if they, if they charge you to do an amendment but otherwise if you can get the amendment for free or less than the cost of uh, or less than the amount of refund you're going to get sure go ahead and do it um, you can e-file amendments back to 2019. So 2019, 2020, 2021 going forward. You can electronically file amended federal returns for 2018 tax year and prior. Um, I, I don't believe you can currently e-file. I think the IRS is trying to eventually allow 2018 and prior to be e-filed. But as of now, uh, you, you can't do it to my knowledge. You have to paper file if you do need to um, to amend one of those returns. But let, let's leave it there for now. I'm assuming, uh, you know, I'm recording this just after the filing deadline for 2020, uh, 2021 tax year. So I'm assuming you're, you're amending your 2021 tax return, in which case, yes, you can electronically file it unless you're one of the, I don't even, I don't even know off the top of my head, one of the few situations where you can't uh, e-file, you do need to paper file. Uh, assume you, you could and should be electronically filing a return. So that's it. Hope you found this helpful. Again, you can find links in the notes to um, the, the instructions to the Form 1040 and the form, the actual Form 1040X itself. Um, that's it. Take care. Thanks for watching.